to talk about is a technique for attaching a border reference file while creating clip frames. What I'm going to walk through first is going to be kind of the traditional method for attaching a border reference file. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my reference file dialog box. And you can see we've got our reference files attached here for our AA and BB and so on. We're going to go ahead and attach the border file. So I'm going to go attach. Now I've already done this once before, so it's all, it remembers where it was. So I'm going to click open. And on this dialog, the recommended way is to choose top. You don't want to choose coincident because borders, they're not placed by geographic coordinates. They're just placed randomly in a file. And if you attach it by coincident world or coincident, it will place that attachment someplace down by zero, zero, and that won't help us. So what we typically suggest is using top, and I'm going to show you how that works first. So I'm going to select OK, and as I move my cursor in, you can see this bounding box here. It's kind of rotated, but it's not placing the border exactly where I want it initially. So if I place it, do it data, you can see it's there, it's closer, but it's not exactly where I need to put it. What I'm going to do is select it in the reference file, and I'm going to use the move reference. And I'm going to move it by the dot in the lower left corner to the lower left corner of the clip frame and then a reset. Now that method is not bad, but it would be easier if we could have just placed it at the corner of the red clip frame with no problems. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to detach the reference file. I'm going to open the reference file that contains the border and we're going to create a saved view with that dot in the center of the saved view and then we're going to attach the reference file by that saved view and it'll place it right where we need it. So I've already opened that reference file with the border before. So in the lower left corner, I can just click on the green icon with the arrow going to the right and that takes me to the file. This is the file that we attached that had the border. Now I'm going to close the reference file dialog box. What we need to do is make this dot in the lower left corner of the border the center of the view. Now there's a old command in MicroStation. It's called center view. So to get to it, I would hold down my shift and my control and right click. This will bring up a pop-up menu. You'll see there is window center listed there. Again, it's an old command in MicroStation, but it's going to serve us well here. So I'm going to select this. And what it's looking for me to do is to identify a point that I want to be the center of the view. So I'm going to move my cursor down here and I'm going to do a tentative and what I want to make sure is that I'm snapping to that point and then I'm going to do a data and you can see that gets moved to the center of the view. You'll notice that the border is still visible. What you don't want to do is have this border partially outside the view. You want to make sure it's inside the view. Now we're going to create a saved view. So we're going to go to the view tab at the top. We're going to go to create saved view. On the tool settings window, it's looking for us to give it a name. Now you can call this whatever you want, but this is the lower left corner of the border. So I'm going to just call it LLC. And the description will just say lower left corner. And then it wants me to pick the view. So I'm just going to do a data anywhere in the view. And now I have a saved view. And to see this listed, if I go to my saved view group and click on the dialog launcher, you'll see this listed. There it is, LLC. Now when we go back to our clip frame file, when we go to attach this reference file, we'll see that listed. So we're going to go down to our green dot in the lower left corner, previous model. This takes us back to our clip frame file. We're going to go back to our reference files. So we'll go to home. We'll go to references. We're going to go to attach reference. MicroStation always remembers the last file you attached and make sure you have it set to interactive. I'm going to click open. And when this opens up, we're going to see saved views. I'm going to expand that and there's our LLC. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to click OK. And I'm now being asked to place it. Now you can't see the bounding box because it's outside my view, but I'm going to move my cursor to the lower left corner of the clip frame. I'm going to data the border is placed in one click. Saves you quite a bit of time, maybe two or three clicks for placing borders. So hopefully you found that helpful.